Okay, so I've got my uh, my window here that I just saved and I renamed it, uh, you know, picture casing. And I want to put trim on the interior side of it. And I'm going to show you one way to do that. Uh, and then we're going to look at an, another way to do it also. Now, what this will do is this is, we're actually going to edit the family to add this trim to the inside of it. Okay. And um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a, uh, a sweep. We're going to model our trim. And for the path, I want to choose, I'm going to go pick path, and I'm going to choose the interior edge of the jam all the way around. So there's my path. And if, you, if you've taken uh, any of the Inventor courses, this is very similar to doing, uh, doing the same exercises in Inventor. Okay, so I'm going to check my card that when I got all four of them selected. Now I want to I want to do a profile, and there are several. Um, excuse me, click load profile. There are several of them in Revit already. So <clears throat> we go down to profiles, and let's see, finished carpentry, and so there's there's two different casing profiles. That is the most common one. And these are the ones that are uh, loaded in here. I don't think, um, I was trying to think if there's like a one by three, because I know there's in other places, we're just going to go with casing profile number one. That's a fairly standard casing. Okay. Uh, casing profile number one. There we go. I'm looking at the other profiles that are loaded here. Brick mold headers. Okay. All right. Now you see it loaded it right there. But we want to flip it. We actually want to move it out. Because most of these, the larger side would be to the outside of the window. Um, and so it's supposed to be three and a half inches. So we're going to offset. Um, I don't know which direction it's going to be. We're going to try the X. So we're going to go a minus 3.5. Nope. Okay, but we actually want it to go just a skosh, just a little bit more because it doesn't want to, in reality, we wouldn't line it up right with the edge of that window. We'd have a little bit of detail. Um, so let's go with another quarter of an inch. So um, that looks good because that gives us a little bit of a reveal, a quarter of an inch of a reveal right there. Okay, and then we apply that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We check that to finish edit mode. And voila. We put trim all the way around our window. Now we can, you know, we can come back in and, and change our, uh, change our material type to match the rest of the window. I guess I need to see what the rest of the window is, huh? Colby Ultra Pure White. Okay. Okay. And so that made it match the rest of the window. Now we've done that. And so um, I'm going to go save it. And I'm going to load it into the project and close it down.
All right, and so I want to replace this window with it. And so here it was, the picture casing, the one that I, I just created on the video. All right, and so there, of course, our, our colors, kind of, well, we're in rendered appearance there. So let me go back to shaded where I was in the other video. Okay, and so there's how we would do a, a picture frame. That's one way, and it modifies the actual window. If you have a custom... Um, a custom casing that you want to use, you can create a 2D profile and save it into uh, your Revit files. And then you can load your custom profile to create any kind of trim you want. Okay, now for the next, uh, the next variation of this, and I'm gonna pause this video and start another one.